This is the Italian Real Estate Podcast, here to help you with the ins and outs and basics of Italian real estate presented by ItalianRealEstateLawyers.com. Hello there and welcome to another edition of the Italian Real Estate Podcast presented by ItalianRealEstateLawyers.com. Of course, we are back at it again with Italian attorney Marco Permunian. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I am doing great, thank you. And I am Rafael Di Furia. Today, we wanted to get into the topic of the first, the benefit of the first house, the tax incentive offered by uh, the Italian government for individuals who are making their first purchase of a home in Italy. There's been recently, quite recently, a very big update to all of this. And uh, rather than starting to explain it myself, Marco, would you mind giving us a bit of the background on what this looked like previously and what this new update is all about? Absolutely. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about the first home bonus for people who buy their first home in Italy, uh, which basically translate into a tax discount uh, for people who are buying their first home in Italy. Um, the percentage that you have to pay if you're buying your first home in Italy is the 2% calculated on the value on paper of the property. So not the uh, uh, purchase price, but the value that the Italian government gives to the property, which could be higher or lower than the actual purchase uh, price. Um, if the bonus cannot apply to you, you will be paying the 9%, uh, so not the 2%, but the 9% calculating again on the value on paper of the property. Instead, if you're buying directly from the company who built the house, uh, if you're buying your first home and if you if you meet the requirement for the tax discount, you will be paying only a 4% VAT. Uh, on the other hand, if the tax discount cannot apply to you, you will be paying the 10% VAT. Now, the tax discount in question applies to people who are buying their first home in Italy and move the residency into their home or in the municipality where they purchase the house within 18 months from the purchase on the condition that they have no other properties in the same municipality. So these are requirements to, uh, that need to be met in order to use this tax discount. And until the 14th of June of 2023, there was another situation where uh, somebody could use uh, this tax discount even if they were not uh, meeting the requirements that I just mentioned, uh, which means before the law changed, uh, so until the 14th of June, an Italian citizen residing abroad and registered with the AIRE could have purchased their first home in Italy in any Italian municipality and use the tax discount on the condition, of course, that they had no other houses in Italy and there was no obligation for those people to move their residency uh, in the municipality where the house was purchased within 18 months from the purchase, which is the requirement that applies to the people who are instead living in Italy. So until the 14th of June, an Italian who was not residing in Italy and was residing abroad could also have used the tax benefited from the tax discount even if they didn't want to move their residency to Italy within 18 months from the purchase, but on the sole condition that they own no other houses in Italy and that they were registered, Italian citizens registered with the AIRE, uh, with the Italian consulate abroad. Now, before I talk about the changes that happened about a month ago, it's worth uh, mentioning that according to the first home uh, bonus, uh, people who uh, met the requirements for for this bonus also did not have to pay annual taxes on their property. So not only there is a tax discount on the purchase, on the tax that applies to the purchase, but there is also a 100% um, discount on the annual taxes that um, somebody would have to pay for their property. We have said it many times in Italy, annual taxes are not that high, but you know, not having to pay them it's a bonus for sure. So people who met the requirements for the uh, first home bonus also uh, were allowed to not pay these annual taxes. But uh, what happened a month ago? So a month ago, the law changed and basically nothing happened for the people who reside in Italy. But there was a major change for uh, Italian citizens 
residing abroad and and more specifically being an Italian residing abroad and registered with the IDA was no longer uh, enough, was no longer sufficient to qualify for uh, the tax discount in the event that the person was buying their first home in Italy. In fact, that rule was basically canceled and was replaced by a different rule, which basically states, in order to benefit from the first home bonus, if you are somebody who is residing abroad, you need to meet the following requirements. You need to have resided in Italy for five years, or you have to have worked in Italy for five years. So you need to have been a resident from a legal standpoint, or you need to have carried out work activities in Italy for, an, for uh, five years, no matter what your nationality is. So even if you are a non-Italian and you have lived in Italy uh, and you've been a resident from a legal standpoint in Italy for at least five years, or you have carried out work activities in Italy for five years, and then you move abroad, uh, you meet the first requirement to now be able to qualify for the uh, first house bonus. Uh, and the second requirement is that you can only buy the house in the municipality where you were born or in the municipality where you were residing or carrying out your working activity before you moved abroad. So basically, it is not possible to qualify for the tax discount for the first home for people who never worked in Italy or people who never reside in Italy for five years. So say, for example, um, you are a student who uh, moved to the US at a young age and you never carried out uh, work activity in Italy, nor you have been a resident for uh, five years in Italy because you moved maybe with your parents at a very young age. Well, that doesn't allow you to uh, benefit from the tax discount. Or also, let's say that you are somebody who gained Italian citizenship uh, abroad through an Italian consulate. I'm thinking, for example, uh, of somebody who uh, gained Italian citizenship through marriage or by descent. Uh, and never lived in Italy, never worked in Italy, in that case, you cannot uh, qualify for the tax discount. And therefore, this is a big change for all of the people that acquire citizenship Jura Sanguinis and have no intention of relocating to Italy because the tax discount is no longer available. But if you do have the intention to relocate to Italy within 18 months from the purchase, then the tax discount is still available to you. Well, that's really interesting. So I'm curious, what if the person now is abroad and is interested in purchasing property in Italy? How would this all apply to them? So only if that person resided in Italy for five years or worked in Italy for five years and relocated abroad for work reasons. So the law is very clear that the relocation abroad needs to have happened for work reasons. And if that's the case, then the benefit can apply to you. But what if a person doesn't meet these requirements? What would their options be at that point? So at that point, the option is to buy the house in Italy anyway, without benefiting from any tax discount, or to actually relocate back to Italy, uh, because the law allows for people who relocate to uh, the town where the house is being purchased within 18 months to use the tax discount. Interesting. And so one other thing I think that's really important to to think about it here is why is this all coming into play now? What? Why has there been this big change from the way that it used to be to these new set of rules? So basically it looks like the new set of rules uh, were necessary uh, because um, the European Union basically doesn't allow for any kind of discrimination between the citizens of the different EU countries. So a law that basically uh, included a specific advantage only for Italian citizens was not okay for the European Union. So the law was changed in a way that really applies to anybody who has resided in Italy or worked in Italy for five years, Italian citizen or non-Italian citizen, and who relocated abroad and who is now buying their first home in Italy. 
Very interesting. And thank you so much for answering these questions and also telling us about this new update, because that's a very, very massive change in the system. Uh, but of course, if anybody is looking to maybe purchase their first home in Italy or any home, maybe their fifth or seventh, whatever it may be, how can they get in contact with you and your team? People can contact us through our website, italianrealestatelawyers.com, or give us a call or numbers on the website. Absolutely fantastic. And of course, if you are interested in more content like this about purchasing property, renting property, or where to find that property in Italy, be sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel as well as the audio only podcast. But of course, if you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, that means you're also subscribed automatically to the Italian Citizenship Podcast, another project that Marco and I collaborate on. And of course, if you're interested in more content about life abroad, living abroad, or living abroad as a dual citizen expat, be sure to come over to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Rafael Di Furia, or you can search for Not Your Average Globetrotter on Google or your favorite podcasting platform of choice. But Mr. Marco Permonian, thank you so much for making yourself available for this episode of the Italian Real Estate Podcast presented by ItalianRealEstateLawyers.com. I'm Rafael Di Furia. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we will see you all next time. Later. Thank you. Thank you.